like the message that God has given me this morning. You can't rise up unless you fall. You can't rise up unless you fall. When I speak like this, you may think that I am trying to tell you to fall. Dearly beloved, the truth is every believer who has given their life to Jesus Christ and accepted him as a savior and lord into their life. And all the believers who is worshiping God has fallen even one time. I don't think there is anyone here, any superman or the superwoman who has not fallen spiritually. If I say fallen means many people think if you fall into adultery and fornication or if you kill somebody that is falling. My Bible says if you hate your brother, you are fallen. You can go to heaven. Even if you hate your brother, that is also spiritual fall, my beloved. If you tell a lie, that is falling. There is anyone who is here who has not lied, who will say, I have never lied from the day of my salvation up to today. You are a diabolical liar. If you say so. My Bible says so. That, that is the reason why if you fall, the Bible has very clearly given opportunities for us to repent and come back to him. Whoever has fallen can repent and come back to him with the washing of the blood of Jesus Christ. And he will wash us as white as snow, as wool, as white as wool. This is the promise that he has given. Repentance is there for believers not for the non-believers. You can't repent unless you fall. And uh, the theme of my message, again, I would like to remind you, unless you fall, you can rise up. And super spiritual people will say, act like they have not fallen. I don't believe. And... Uh, if Jesus has visited a funeral house that is to arrest the death, he never went to bury somebody's body. He went to rise up the dead man from the dead. If he has ever attended a funeral, that is to cancel the funeral service and give life back to the dead person. Dead body. Amen. Amen. He is the Lord God Almighty who is living in us and who is with us, who is our Savior and the protector and the provider and the healer. So, He has enough strength to help you and me to rise up from the place where we have fallen. My beloved. As the Bible says, most of the people today among the Christians, they are trying to act before the world and before the church, even after they have fallen without accepting that they have fallen spiritually. And they didn't want to repent. They did think once they get saved, they are saved. That is totally wrong, my beloved. And uh, you can rise up with the power of resurrection if you have fallen. That's what my Bible says. Turn with me to the book of Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. Hallelujah. Tell Satan, the death is the end of everything. But for us, tell the Satan, I am not yet dead. I am not dead yet. And I am living with the living Christ. Therefore, I am not allowed, I will not allow you to trample me. If I have fallen, 
My God has given me the grace to rise up with his mighty power. Book of he, Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16 says, How much better to wish them than gold and to get understanding is to be chosen. Sorry. I read the wrong word. Chapter 24 verse 16. Chapter 24 verse 16. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. But the wicked shall fall by calamity. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. If you have accepted Jesus as your Savior and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ, by having faith and belief in the blood of Jesus Christ, you become a righteous child of God through the washing of the blood of Jesus Christ. Then, after that, even a righteous man falls seven times. That means completely, even if you fall completely, the word of God promised that he will rise up again. And rise again. If you are a righteous person, but if you are a wicked person, if you fall, you will fall forever. You will not have a strength to stand up. Therefore, if there is anyone who is wicked in the church, repent about your wickedness. If there is anyone who is evil, doing evil and living in evil, repent. Then God will give you the grace through the repentance to rise up from the place where you have fallen, my beloved. And uh, however, you can't rise unless you fall. And I said again, I told you, and it doesn't mean that God is giving grace to fall. God will never give us the license to fall, but he has given us the grace to rise up if we have fallen. And the Holy Spirit who has helped the Christ to risen from the dead will help you and me to rise up. When Jesus Christ was carrying the cross to the Mount Calvary, the 75 kilos weight cross. As he was carrying the cross, he fell many times. And he strengthened himself and stood up again in order for you and me to rise up when we fall spiritually. That is the main reason why that he fell and he rose up again in order to give you and me to the strength to stand firm. This morning, if we have uh, fallen spiritually, my beloved, remember our Lord, Savior, our, 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 our beloved brother, elder brother, Jesus Christ, who has fallen with the cross and rise up from the place where he was fallen. It is because you and me to have the strength of God to rise up from the temptations that we have fallen, my beloved. As the second Corinthians Chapter 12, verse 9, the part 1, part A says, God's strength is given for us when we are weak. His, God's strength, His grace is sufficient for us to stand firm. As the book of Psalm, chapter 46, verse 1 and verses 1 and 2 says, book of Psalms, chapter 46, He also has given us the promise here. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. We don't have to have a strength unless we have, when we weak only, we need strength. When you and I are weak, His grace is sufficient as well as His word says. He is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. If you are in trouble, He is a present help. And He will strengthen you to stand firm.
to do his will and to go forward with his grace and the strength of God. And also don't give up if you have fallen to temptations, maybe with anger, hate, bitterness, unforgiving, uh, unforgiveness. You may have been wicked. Through all these things, you may have lied to somebody. And you may have been a li diabolical liar. You may have tried to destroy somebody's life by telling all kinds of tales. With all these things, if you truly don't give up, don't just don't be panicked, don't say, and uh, is it enough? Enough is enough. I can't go forward. I, I can't carry this burden and go forward no more. Enough is enough. Don't say that. Don't give up. If you have given up, if I have given up, Today, you and I will not be here in this place to have all these great blessings, my beloved. I didn't give up. I have fallen, not as people say that I have done all these dirty things. But I have got angry sometimes. I get very angry when people do unrighteous things. When somebody hinder my ministry, I really get angry. I don't get angry if somebody did personally do any harms to me. I forgive and I forget, but if somebody tries to destroy my ministry, I have got many times I have got angry. That means I have fallen each time that I have got anger. And each time I have repented and come back with the strength of God and have started again the fellowship and the intimate relationship with God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, my beloved, it is very important for you to understand when you are weak, you have to accept your fault and repent. And also the Romans chapter 8, 28 says, all things are working together for good to them, them that love God and those who have a purpose, with God's purpose. It's very important to know this word, the purpose. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the call according to his purpose. So God has called us according to his purpose, my beloved. Because of his purpose, only he will turn all what is taking place in our life will turn to a blessing. If we live to fulfill his purpose in our life, and all these troubles and tribulations, persecutions, situations will turn to blessings. And uh, Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 and 5 says, as how the soldier will go forward with all kinds of uh, difficulties and accomplish the purpose. And the Psalm chapter 33, verses 1, to four. Psalm chapter 3, verses from 1 to 5. Book of Psalm chapter 3, verses from 1 to 5. Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the one who lift up my head. The Lord will lift up our head as you are weak and when other people are trying to trample you and destroy you, my beloved. And also, at last, turn with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 66. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 13. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 13. As one who, whom his mother comfort, so I will comfort you. And you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. The Lord has promised to comfort us as a mother comfort a child, my beloved. 
and our Lord is willing to comfort us as we accept our fault and repent. May God give you the grace this morning. If you have fallen in any way, God is there to help you. Even if you have fallen seven times, God is waiting to strengthen you and lift you up. As the prodigal son, he came back to the father when he came with, by living with pigs and came with all this mud and dirt and he accepted him. In the same manner, God will accept you this morning if you truly repent. May God bless you and lead you with these few words to rise up from the place where you have fallen. I, I